Hello everyone, I am Saiten and welcome back to my channel Saiten. In today's video, we will talk about the top major uh, advantages with the POCO F3 GT. Yes friends, finally the POCO F3 GT has just gone launched a couple of hours ago and a lot of users did ask me about this kind of question. What are the advantages with the POCO F3 GT? So what, uh, what do you think about the POCO F3 GT? So this is the video about, I'll try to talk only about the positive things. So where I did upload another video friends regarding the what are the disadvantages about the POCO F3 GT. So in case if you want that video, make sure to check that video as soon as possible. So let's get started with the first thing, what is the advantage? advantage of the POCO F3 GT, the first advantage. So which is having really very good premium kind of build quality. That's a major advantage friends with this POCO F3 GT. So for this kind of price, so try to consider the price I'm try trying to mention. For this kind of 27,000 rupees and 28,000 rupees after using the bank discount cards. And for this price, you are getting really good aluminum frame. That's fantastic friends you are having. And double sided gold like that's fire protection also. That's another thing. So not only that, you do get the really good trigger options. So this is a, I think first phone with the low budget range gaming mobile phone which has got this kind of triggers. So if you want to get the triggers either you need to spend a lot of money in other Asus or ROG phones, maybe in the Blackshare phones but still this POCO F3 GT for this kind of price this is really fantastic friends. I need to test the triggers in my testing and there's a LED glow lights as well in the, regarding the camera as you can see side of the camera. That's also another biggest advantage for this camera as well. So in terms of build quality these are really great uh, features which we can actually see in this POCO F3 GT. That is my first option. Definitely, as soon as you hold the phone, you will definitely get, get the premium kind of feeling. So very soon, I'll try to order this phone. So once I get hands on, then I'll be able to talk more about the design and in-depth details about the POCO F3 GT. But still, the build quality is the first advantage. And next advantage can also be having the IP53 rating as well, which is a splash uh, resistant rating. As you can see, that's also another good advantage to know in this phone that you have the splash resistant, a little bit drops, should be fine in this phone. That's also another good advantage. And triggers is also another advantage in this phone and not only that even the IR blaster they even include the IR blaster friends there's only few companies that actually uh, include this kind of IR blasters MI and the POCO phones that's a really useful thing which nowadays I do use most of the time IR blaster only because whenever my uh, remote battery cells get weak I used to use only the MI and POCO phones that's a really fantastic thing in terms of the IR blaster having it's really great to see and 480 hertz touch sampling rate that's another biggest insane thing friends about this phone 480 hertz so for this price the highest we did see only 360 hertz so 360 hertz we did see in the realme x and max and mi linux device in those phones but 480 hertz it's going to be really epic combination in this phone file for the gaming particularly that is what i'm really interested in this phone that's a really good advantage not only that there's a 10 bit color panel as well that's really great, great to see friends for this price so display is also another major advantage for this phone so we which will definitely be uh, attractive as well I think so even, even though I did like this kind of small curved small display curved as you can see that's also another thing which I need to test personally once I get the phone so all the display is also another major advantage with this POCO F3 GT and they do call this one which is a turbo amulet display as you can see we did see the super amulet display and fluid amulet display but they are using their own term which is called the turbo amulet display that's also another uh, interesting thing to check in the poco f3 gt model as you can see and it also support hd 10 plus dc streaming and all the things about the display is fantastic in this poco f3 gt and for the gaming you are getting the ray tracing capable dispense in this phone that's also another insane thing so i think only few phones they will be having this kind of ray tracing capabilities that's a really great we usually see this kind of ray tracing in the laptops gaming laptops and desktops but right now they are in did introduce in this poco f3 gt which is hyper engine 3.0 ray tracing capabilities that's also another uh, good thing to see here and regarding the cooling system also it might might be improved in this poco f3 gt that's what they didn't mention in the live stream that is what i did see as you can see each thing you do have but in the real life practical test will be completely different so let's do our own testing as soon as i get the phone i'll try to do the my own type of testing on this device so just wait for the couple of days and couple of maybe one week or two weeks so until i receive the phone then we'll be able to see actual performance of this device so this is what they are trying to use friends vapor chamber cooling as you can see 11,540 as you can see friends exactly that's another thing so overall friends i did like the these are the few points which i was just mentioning about the poco f3 gt which are really interesting even it's good to see 67 watts so it is a really shocking thing to see friends usually a lot of people they did expect only 33 watts should be there but still we got 67 watts that's really good to see in this phone which is really insane so for this kind of price we are getting really amazing deal in the poco f3 gt and these are the few advantages which i did find out in this phone 
phone and for this kind of price range it's really good to see this kind of advantages so for example the metal frame and aluminum body which is not present in any other phone in this kind of price range that's also a unique thing and gaming triggers also not present in any other phone and 480 hertz touch sampling rate is also not present in any other phone in this kind of price range and 10 bit color panel also that's also another thing maybe we did see the 10 bit color panel in the mi 11 light model but not in, in this close of range realme x1 max and other devices we didn't see that that kind of thing that's also another and flash uh, proof resistance also that's another best thing friends so overall i think this phone is going to be really big hit but let's see in the practical testing so we need to do our own testing before actually deciding the winner so these are the few advantages which i was just mentioning about the poco f3 gt so if i miss any other advantage let me know in the comment section below that will be really helpful for me see you in the next video friends until then stay tuned for more updates don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned and regularly follow me definitely i'll be planning to buy the poco f3 gt very soon till then stay safe bye